Roxy Romeo in the radio room, Kovalev versus Ward with Max Kellerman. How does it feel to be on the other side? What other side? You're, aren't you normally the one that's doing the interviews? Uh, kinda, yeah, but, but yeah, but for the fights, it's both. Right. It's both. But uh, interviewing, doing the interview, I think I'd rather be interviewed than doing the interview. Or I'd rather be in a conversation than doing an interview. You know what? That's what I try to do when I do interviews is, like, make it a conversation. Although the way you have this set up, I'm holding the mic. That is correct. And you got the lab you know on, why? so, no, so it's, like, kind of like I'm doing the interview. <laughs> do you want to interview me? Sure. <laughs> you know what do you think of the so? fight? <laughs> it hasn't started yet. That's not an answer. Come on. <laughs> You're too good at this. You know why? It's because... It takes time to put the lav on. Right. So, like, people have to keep coming and going, so at least I keep it on. It doesn't take time. Yeah. It's easier. It's a little awkward, but go ahead. It's a little yeah. awkward, but... I just, I'm just, you know, I got to say what it is. Yeah. So how long have you been commentating? Um, I was doing, I did a public access show. Kids, public access, before there was an internet. <laughs> anyway, uh, in 1989, I did that for uh, eight or nine years, and then... Right out of college, I took seven years to graduate college. But right out of college, I got hired by ESPN, Should I and ask that about was that? that was 1998. <laughs> so I've been professional since 1998. Okay. So what's that? 18 years. And have you loved every minute of it? Not every minute. Most of the minutes have been pretty good. <laughs> and it's it's pretty much all been it's been boxing. It was boxing, and now it's and then starting in 2002, it's, it, it branched out to general sports. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and you are going to be commentating tomorrow night. I am. Are you excited? Do, yeah, do this you is still, a great match. Do you matchup. still get excited? Yeah, for fights like this, I do. A lot of times, fights are kind of promoted into existence. There's a way to make money. There's an easy uh, market to tap. Mm -hmm. For example, you have an Irish fighter or a Mexican or Mexican American fighter. You think you can exploit a certain fan base, and they're put in in against you know in fights where you know who's going to win, mm -hmm. and it's not like pound for pound is not at stake. But a matchup like this with contrasting styles, difficult to predict the outcome, both guys more or less in their prime, the winner, a good shot that people will recognize them as the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Yeah, those are the fights. That's like right before, a lot of times you, you, you turn on TV, you know, you're watching sports, you watch NFL, Major League Baseball, NBA, whatever it is, and they're serving you better product usually than if you just flip through the channels and catch a fight. Because mm. they're major leagues, and a lot of times the fights you watch are minor leagues. But when there's a major league fight on like this, there's nothing better in sports. Like right before the bell rings for round one, ding, ding, Ward Kovalev, they already stared each other down. They're about to fight. There's no better moment in sports. In any sport? In any sport. So you can... There are few better moments in life, actually, as fight <laughs> fans, as you know. Well, this is my first big fight, and I was talking, I can't remember what I was talking about. What do you about. normally cover? Well, I'm, I'm actually not a sports person. Right, so I'm, what do you do? I, music. Music, right, Yeah, okay. so, you know, this is kind of like my big first sport, uh, sport event. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm excited. Sporting event. Sporting event. It. Excuse me. Um, but I was talking to somebody earlier, and they were talking about the fact that, you know, they've done boxing, they've done basketball, they've done football, they've done, like, yeah. covering all these sports, and they still feel like... Boxing, by far, is the most exciting. Yeah, they're right. The most, you know, adrenaline pumping. Yeah, they're right. Because here's the difference is all other sports, I mean, I guess combat sports, boxing and MMA, but all their sports are a metaphor for something. Like, even if you're psyched that LeBron and KD are about a square off, they're not actually going to fight. You know, the, it's a, the ball is, is a, you know, if they, whoever puts it through the hoop more metaphorically has beaten the other guy. Yeah. But in boxing... If, if Ward hits Kovalev or vice versa and the other guy's knees buckle and they're on the canvas, that's not a metaphor for anything. That's literal. One guy just beat the other guy. And that's just more interesting than, you know, it's more compelling, more exciting to watch than a metaphor for the same thing. So do you have a prediction? They don't like me to make predictions because <laughs> I'm calling the fight. Oh, you know what? That's true. I understand that. It is a 50-50 kind of fight. If you ask me who I think should be the slight favorite, I would say Ward. Really? Yeah. Okay. Why? Ward hasn't lost a fight since he was 14 years old in the amateurs. He won an Olympic gold medal. He was a dominant international amateur. He turned pro. He's undefeated. He, has, he fought in a tournament in the Super 6 and Super Middleweight division where unlike a lot of the way boxing is set up where you can cherry pick opponents. 
in the in a tournament style, whoever's standing in the winner's circle, you got to fight that guy. Right. You can't really duck. Mm -hmm. And he beat them all. So Ward's pedigree is a little better than Kovalev's, and and he's a little better, and he, and he is a better defensive boxer. History of boxing is when you have an even matchup, generally the more consummate boxer is the guy who, who's usually comes up, not always, but usually comes out on top. So that plus the pedigree, but on the other hand, Ward's been inactive, he's moving up in weight, and Kovalev's a knockout puncher, so it's, it's really a 50-50 kind of fight. Got it. Well, I will be there tomorrow hearing your voice. There it is, well, if you're watching on TV, yeah, <laughs> on pay-per-view, HBO pay-per-view. <laughs> Watch. Yeah, I, I would, listen, I'm not here every time saying, this one's worth it, buy this one, this one's worth it. This one's really yeah, this worth, one's it. worth it. Max, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>